All right, guys. I just wanted to make sure I got all the facts here from what I've been told. Um, I got some very pertinent information. If you buy, trade, sell gold or you stack gold for apocalypse, end of the world scenario, trading, uh, barter. It's one of the best. Gold is money. Gold is the best money uh, that there is. And um, I just wanted to confirm to make sure I got all my T's crossed and my dots and my I's dotted for this one with you guys. So, so government is working towards uh, making it next to impossible to buy gold unless purchased through a regulated government facility. Whether it's a government, whether it's a bank that's selling you the gold, and whether it's um, governments are going to crack down, making it really hard. Uh, and so this pertains for people living in Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. So these are these three countries only, okay? So they're going to make it very hard and impossible to buy gold. Now, I confirmed with him that there is no confiscation. They're not going to come to confiscate, confiscate your gold like they did back uh, back in the 30s. So they're not going to confiscate the gold. They're just going to make it almost impossible to buy. Okay. Another thing is they're going to create regulations. So when you do buy gold through a government regulated federal facility, they're like a bank, for example, they're, you're going to have to declare your gold on your assets, or whatnot. And then from there, you're going to have to they're going to find a way to make and charge you capital gains. Right? They're going to try and make it or outlaw it and make it illegal from what this gentleman was discussing. This gentleman is in the gold market, in the in um, antique gold. He's been buying and selling gold, uh, gold stacking. He's been <laughs> he's his whole life is gold, right? He's been a, a gold bug his whole life, and he works with it. And he, up to a, ten years ago, was smelting and making his own jewelry and rolling his jewelry and stuff. So he's telling me to get let you guys know just kind of more of ahead of just to get ready that governments are going to make gold almost impossible to buy and when you do buy it they're going to regulate it when they regulate it they know how much you have and if gold goes up they'll actually add that to your capital gains just like collecting interest in your bank account so if you make a thousand dollars a year in interest in your bank account the government comes and taxes the interest on the capital gains that you made through whatever interest rate your bank is paying you so they want to do that to gold. They really want to push and outlaw gold. A lot of government institutions are finding a way around this so they could put us on this digital currency. And we talked about the digital enslavement, the digital world, uh, digital soul, digital prison. We've been talking about this for the last eight, nine years. So they're pushing towards this real hard. And um, with this, obviously, they get more control and it becomes... Uh, it's very hard to create a monetary system uh, backed by gold if you can't – you see, small communities, towns, even provinces and municipalities could create their own legal tender within their own boundaries and people will agree on its value, right? The problem we're having is they're going to make it really hard. So this is what he said. Next to impossible to buy. Let your people know. Let your listeners know. They're good people. Let them know that eventually gold will be next to impossible to buy. And when you do buy, you got to fill out a pile of paperwork, according to him. Piles and piles of paperwork. Like you're buying a gun in a country where guns and ammunition are outlawed, like in Canada. So it's like you're trying to buy a handgun. It's, it's, he basically was telling me you have a better chance of buying a handgun in Canada legally through the channels than it is to actually try and buy gold in the next year or two. And again, regulations, they're going to regulate it and tax it to death. Um, they're going to find ways to make having and owning gold. And if you don't declare, okay, hold on a second. If you don't declare, so we talked about this before. If you don't declare your gold on your income taxes that you own X amount of gold or whatever in your personal reserves and they find out, they could confiscate it or fine you. This is major. So I'm going to keep you guys updated on the whole gold scenario because they're pushing hard to make it impossible to buy. If you're down in the United States, let me know. Do you see this happening in the United States? I think the United States is just too big, too many gun owners, too many people um, won't stand for it, right? And gold is money. Gold's been money since the time of Moses, so or even before. I'm just going for biblical times. Let me know what you guys think. Am I, am I overreacting here? Is my source overreacting? We kind of 
talked a bit and discussed and exchanged ideas. And this guy knows gold. This guy can do anything, make anything out of gold. And this guy is retired from that now. But he he wanted me to get this message to you guys. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be tough. I think we're gonna enter tough times when it comes to buying. Um, because if people want to start shifting their assets into gold, physical gold, they'll they'll make it they'll make it really hard for you. That's what I'm seeing because then gold is actually transit. It has value. It always holds monetary value. And with interest rates go up, going up, you're going to see gold start spiking. Gold will start going up as interest rates go up. We saw it back in 1980, uh, January 1980. Check out your gold charts and see what I'm talking about. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.